Oh my goodness. So much candy. There's been so much candy we've been giving away, Bartholomew. Oh, look. Look at all the, look at all the extra trick-or-treaters who still have Halloween. They still have Halloween spirit. Bartholomew, it's so exciting. Oh, don't be scared. He's, he's a gentle octopus, not a squid. We can, we can be a little more friendly here. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, guys. We still have holiday spirit here at Unreal. It's okay, we're ready to go now. So what I need from you guys to get us back into the holiday spirit for Halloween, because some of us just haven't found a way to let go of our thrill of dressing up and that holiday spirit that'll carry us through to the end of the season is what is something you've always wanted to dress up as or was a cool idea for a costume that you wish you could have done? Maybe you wanted to dress up as an animal or maybe you wanted to do something a little goofy like a ghost that you just never had a chance to do. So in the chat, put those fun goofy costumes down there that you really wanted to do. And Bartholomew and I and the gang are gonna show you just how goofy those costumes are as we go around the neighborhood to maybe hopefully get some candy with you guys. Because we wanna know what are those cool costumes you wish you could have done this year or maybe hopefully plan to do next year. Maybe it was a celebrity, or something really off the chart magical that you were hoping to do. I know someone wants to do a rock star, which is pretty awesome. I'm loving those. There's a whole lot out there that you guys can definitely do that, shh, Bartholomew, no more, no more Twix for you. My goodness. What's it? You guys wanna do a chicken leg? I'll take a bite out of that anytime. Let's go around the neighborhood and see all those doors and let's go knocking to see who wants to be a chicken leg for Halloween. Sounds tasty. Oh, hi kids, you're such a cute chicken leg. Today must be a bones day. Have a nice evening. Oh, some little chicken legs. No masks? I say. Oh, look, it's all these little chicken legs coming to my door on Halloween. That's so cute. Just one question. How did you get over here? Did you did you cross the road? <laughs> Happy Halloween. Oh, right, hey, you came through the sideway there. Hey, be careful of my, my classic car in the driveway. I don't want you to wing that, huh? Hey, you can you, you just mind my car there, chicken leg. More chicken legs. Oh, today must be fried day. <laughs> Have a oh. good day. Be safe. Knock, knock. Oh, is it? Oh, it's another trick or treater. You got to be pulling my leg with that one. My goodness. But oh, what's that behind you? Oh, my goodness, guys. The neighborhood's not going to believe it. There's someone dressed up as the Wendy's girl. Oh, my gosh. These. These kids these days are more clever. I hope the neighborhood can handle it. My gosh. Not good. Oh, look, it's the Wendy's girl. I hope you don't feel too chilly out there. Maybe cup of chili will warm you up. You look like you might enjoy a cup of chili to make you feel less chilly. Oh, <laughs> Oh, look, it's the Wendy's girl. Hello. Oh, it's so interesting that you came to my door because last time we talked, you left me on red. ding a ling a -ling. Oh, it's the Wendy's girl here for a trick or a tweet. I love you on the Twitter. <sighs> Ah, oh, there's the Wendy's girl. Ah, uh, look at that. Look at that. I, I, I see you're covered in salt. It's a healthier option for those fries. Ah, 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 ah. No, no, no. Oh, the Wendy's girl. Hey, I, I have a friend named Patty who also dressed up as the Wendy's girl. And I'll tell you this, y'all are not squares. Ding dong. Oh, the Wendy's 
girl again, very popular costume. It's getting cold out there. Don't want to get your toes all frosty. Dress warm. Oh, it's the Wendy's girl. That's so funny. You used to be the four for four, but now you're going door to door. Oh, neck, neck. Oh, Wendy's girl. I got a five piece of advice for you. It's a stay tuned for the rest of the show. My gosh, who's, we got one more kid behind you. Oh my gosh. Is that Mrs. Frizzle from the magic school bus? Childhood be gone? I'm so excited. Can't handle it. Knowledge is here. Oh, knowledge is power. I love it. Love it. So excited. So excited. Kids, oh man, I'm so sorry. We're we're out of candy for this one. I guess you'll guess you'll have to hang around. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of madness happening. So, guess that's it for the candy. You'll have to hang around for all the other spoils of the Halloween madness. All right, man. Last night was rough. Madison, come out here. You, you you made a spectacle of yourself at the Halloween party. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, you really tied one on. There what? you are. Yeah, you 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 really embarrassed yourself. Me? I don't remember that. I know. I know. You. you 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 really tied one on. You barely remember anything. You barely remember. Do we have to explain you every? Do do we have to go over? All right, we're we're gonna we're gonna walk you through this. I want you to just um, step away. Okay. In your private room right now. All right. And try and recall what you did, and where you were at, and all that. And we're gonna help you through this. Okay. Okay, yeah, I would really appreciate it because I want to make sure that I remember this Halloween forever. Well, we'll just be happy if you start remembering something. So yeah, just go ahead and, um, you know, take some ginkgo blobo or something like that. And then we're going to call you back in. Okay, everyone. So Madison can't remember anything she did last night at the party. So she was at an unexpected place for the party, like a forest or a house. Can 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 we remind her of what, what that place was in, in the chat here? Can can we uh yeah it's see a, a place that's unexpected. Let's see what we have here. Oh we have library. Yeah yeah she was so she she was so sauced. She went. She was at a library. She read at the party. So um, also, she did this thing. It's embarrassing, but it's what we're. What it really was was just this task or activity that you would just never do at a party. Um, yeah, let's well, the embarrassing stuff she was doing. Some really like embarrassing stuff. I mean, it's just really out of context is what it is. Yeah. So in the chat here, we have, we, ha we have that uh, she won a marathon. Yeah, it was ridiculous. She was doing that at the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was also, how about her costume though, huh? I mean, out of the box thinking that celebrity 
right? Oh, yeah. Um, she's got to remember that. I mean, come on. She's got to be, I, I'm surprised she's not still wearing it. Um, yeah, she dressed as Napoleon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was definitely the celebrity of the night there. Yep, yep. All right. So to recap, she was at a library, right? Mm-hmm. Um, she won a marathon. Won yeah, it. she did. Won it. She doesn't even remember it, and she won it. And uh, she's dressed like Napoleon. So mm -hmm. let's call her back in here, and we're going to jar her memory. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, Madison. Get back in here. Are, are Matt, you, are you, I'm back. I hope you have. I hope you have some suggestion of where I might have been, or who I might have been with, or. Shh. Quiet down, Madison. Yeah. This is yeah. exactly what got you in trouble yesterday. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Madison, read the room, okay? I know I have a very, very loud voice, okay? I just, I also like to be cultured. Loud people also like culture, right? True, true. It, it, it's odd that you chose to do this at the party, but you chose to go there, you know, I, during the party. I, I just can't stay away from knowledge, you know? Like, the library is my favorite place. Yeah, yeah, it is. it is. See, you're remembering. See, all that reading, it's stretching her mind, you see? Yeah. That is a weird place for me to go. Well, what was weird too is what you did after after you went to the library. I I can feel it. I I know I'm gonna be embarrassed when I learn about this. I mean, I don't understand how you aren't like exhausted right now. Right. Yeah, but I run a marathon. I go all out. Yeah. You, did. you do. Wait, really? Yeah, I really. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. You must have really still been feeling that. You, I mean, when you do that much cardio. Yeah, you must have had a real mind-body connection between the library and running a marathon. You just, you got that. You really did. And what's amazing is that you were able to, to win that marathon dressed the way that you were dressed in your costume. Mm -hmm. I know. I it was a very, it was a very large costume. Well, well, you know, some people would say it's a historically small costume. Yes. Oh. Yeah, some would, some would say, yeah, um, a lot of power in a small package. Oh, mm. like a real Napoleon complex, you'd say. Exactly. Exactly, exactly what we'd say. Oh, okay, well, I mean, Napoleon was, Probably well read, but I, 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 I guess you guys are great. <laughs> you really helped me remember what I was doing last night. Well, yeah. I, I'm, I'm no longer going to worry about you. It just came right back to you. It, it really did. Well, I'm going to remember this Halloween forever. As we will. You guys are the best. Happy past Halloween. Happy past Halloween. You know, all of that remembering just made me realize something I'm very passionate about. And that is zombies. You know, zombies, they get a bad rap. But zombies can be nice. In fact, zombies can be friends. I have a few friends who made friends with zombies. In fact, they help them live out their daily life, communicate with one another. What I need from you is where somewhere you might take a zombie best friend. It could be to the park. It could be maybe uh, on a trip. Where would you take a zombie best friend? Okay, yeah. These are all great places. I'm just looking. Oh, I see. You would take a zombie best friend to a salad bar. Okay, maybe work around some of their dietary nuances. I'm gonna bring on some of our best friends and their zombie best friends, and they're going to show you what it's like to live life 
with a zombie. Come on, guys. Oh, Dr. Goldenberg and her zombie and her best friend. Hello. This is my zombie friend. Hello, zombie friend. Well, you're gonna take us to a salad bar and show us what it's like just to live life with your zombie best friend. Okay? All right, Ralph, you know the drill. <sighs> That's right, we don't put our hands on the salad, we use the tongs. We don't want another incident of a uh, TGI Fridays. Uh, That's right. I know, I know, I know. I, I, I appreciated when you got me the croutons too. Thank you. It meant a lot to me. Hey. Uh, hey. Justine, I didn't know you were bringing your zombie to the salad bar. I'm an avid salad bar goer. I make it a tradition at least oh, four times a week. Amazing. I brought my zombie. Archimedalis with me. Say hi, Archimedalis. Oh my uh, God. Uh, yeah, that's she darling. Precious, precious. I think every zombie best friend, precious. It's a, it's true. Ralph, you're getting a little too friendly. You haven't said hi yet, buddy. You got, well, take a step back. Say hello. <laughs> He said, oh my God, he just said, good evening, madam, to you both. Oh, what manners you are learning. I am so impressed. You know what, would you like a, do you like a beef jerky? I kept them, Bob, here you go. Hey, buddy, I got a beef jerky for you. It's a uh, teriyaki flavor right here. It's right here. There you go. There you go. There you go. Mm. It looks like Argumentalist is getting a little hungry too. I brought you some cream. Uh, uh, here you go, Argumentalist. Uh, uh, oh. uh, when at the salad bar, one can never have too many croutons. <laughs> you never can. You know, it's funny. Argumentalist actually died in a crouton accident. Tell us about it, Argumentalist. Yes. Oh. 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 Yeah, it's very sad. It's very sad. Oh. Oh. oh no. I'm so sorry. Ralph, how does that make you feel? I mean, you used to you used to drive factory trucks from from Hidden Valley. Oh. Oh, he's talking about the corporate espionage and, and how they hold the, the, the work factory and people down, you know? I agree with you, buddy, and, and you, you too. Are, oh, man, these yeah, people got to rise up. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, you're, uh, Ralph has such a way with words. It, it's truly just, just write all that down, Ralph. Oh, it's your book. Uh, you started doing poetry and you didn't tell me? <gasps> oh, I'm shocked. Looks like Argumentalis has a pen over there. Argumentalis, are you doing your pointillist impressions? What the bad So much talent in this room. I just... <laughs> Argumentalis? Ralph. Argumentalist? Ralph. Argumentalist? <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh. I thought the croutons got you again. Ah, uh, croutons. Too much salad. I think we have to cut back a day. Uh. Yes, yes. Well, and even though they don't have minds, they do mind 
their diet. Thank you so much, zombies and zombie best friends. We've truly learned so much today. Take care. Well, that was a lovely time at the salad bar. Reminds me of um, my favorite Halloween dish. It's uh, cannolis. And you know what you do with a cannoli? You stuff it. So we're going to bring you to uh, a, another location, this one being a spaceship. A spaceship where our two actors will be interacting. And at any point, I will say, stuff it. And they will have to stuff their conversation with as much information as possible until we say, you stuff. And we go back to our regularly scheduled planning. So could I please have my good pals, Sarah and Sam out here to stuff it? Enjoy your time on the spaceship. Officer Wilson? Yeah. We're, we're heading toward the target. Uh, Venus in about 25, 25, 25 minutes. Okay, I'm ready. And this is gonna be the first time that I see aliens. I knew they were there. I believed they were there the whole time, but like, Sarah. Stuff it. I had a premonition when I was only five years old in elementary school, but I was doodling on a sidewalk with some chalk. It was chalk that my mother bought me because I said, mother, I'm going to be an artist when I grow up. If I'm not an artist, I'm going to be an artist law enforcer who will draw what the law should be in the sidewalk and then children shall walk all over it and then walk to their future and that's what I was doing and then I decided I'm gonna just let the chalk tell me what it should be and then for some reason the chalk was floating along on the sidewalk and then it said go to outer space and meet us there and be an officer one day because there are aliens in outer space and I said this looks a little weird I think I should go to outer space one day and I'm doing that right now and I'm a little freaked and out. you're stuffed so now I'm here but I don't know how I should introduce myself to them because I think they know me too well. Oh, Officer Wilson, you've been training for this, this moment all your life. You just need to be yourself. What you need to do is you, you need to find that inner child that always wanted to be in space. Yeah. And you want to introduce yourself to an alien. I have experience with, with aliens from Venus. I mean, Brad, yeah. you're just an expert global traveler. Uh, Brad? Stuff it! So when I met this, this alien from Venus, it actually, it spoke our language. It had a translator, so I didn't even have to worry. I'd been brushing up on Venetian, the Venus Venetian, not the Italian Venetian language, so that way I can communicate with the alien. But the alien just turned on this little button, boop, and what that did was it took my voice by reverberations translated them into Venus language and spit right back to me. And they said, welcome. You are welcome. We've been expecting you. And that was my moment. That was my moment with a real live alien. And Brad, you stuffed. Did you have like a housewarming gift or something for them? I did. I did. I brought them a homemade apple cider donut. Oh, I only yeah. brought like a, a Forrest Gump box of chocolates. Sarah, stuff it. Because I always believe that when you're going to someone's house, you need to do something sweet and sentimental that brings back a fond memory. And mine is going to be the box of chocolates where Tom Hanks plays this lovable character and he just talks about chocolates. And I'm like, no one really sits and talks about chocolates unless they're cutting them into quarters or eighths and breaking them apart to decide, is there coconut in there? Because you hate coconut. That and your stuff likes that. So they're just regular milk chocolate because... Who doesn't, you know? Who doesn't like that? Wilson, what I learned yeah. was chocolate is their, their favorite food. It's their staple. It's actually, it's not even a dessert. It's, it's their meal. It's like meat and potatoes to them. So 
You were like spot potatoes. on. Yes. Yeah. You landed that one. You landed it. Sam, stuff it. You landed that like a triple sow cow with, with a half gainer, like, like full force on the ice. You stuffed. I've never seen ice. I don't leave. Sam, stuff it. Stuff that ice. Brad, I think you got to talk about ice. <laughs> I'll talk about it. Ice is everywhere. Ice, cre ice is created on the side of your freezers. Ice is outside in the morning when you're not ready to go to work. It's on your windshield. Ice, too much ice is in my horchata where I get more ice than horchata. Ice is inevitable. There's ice on our ship and it's taken us down. Damn. You are stuffed. Yum, yum, yum. What a lovely meal of a scene. Wonderful work, Sam and Sarah. We are now fully stuffed to the brim and will be served. Now, uh, speaking of serving some delicious dishes. I I'm ready to hear some delicious tunes this evening. Some some nice little ditties. So we are going to be uh getting ready for for a new movie coming out. Oh, did you hear? Oh, I, I heard whispers. It's Tell me tap. It oh my gosh, it is tap. It's tap secret okay folks i'm gonna tell you on a little secret we've gotten exclusive rights for the greenlit movie of kermit goes to monster town oh, 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 oh it's gonna be so exciting he just told me oh he's texting me we're besties he's like don't tell the rest of the people we don't like only tell the people we like comedy sports and our fam oh, that's you guys so everyone, we tell everyone then. But what we're gonna do is we've brought in exclusive writers who are gonna write us the songs right now. But what I need from you in the chat is I need some initials. I just need your initials. Like I'd write SG for mine. What are your initials? And while that happens, I'm gonna bring out our writers. We're gonna write the quickest song you've ever seen in your life. They're so professional. It's amazing. Oh my God, so many beautiful initials. I'd love to know what AH is as a song. We're gonna go so fast. This is how great they are. My first songwriter, Sam, please tell me, what's the name of your song? Oh, remind me what the subject was? It is gonna be A-H for a monster. Kermit goes to Monster Town. A-H. A-H is Animal House. Can you please sing it for us? I can, I can. I live in a house, a small little house with creatures about me, all around me. Oh. I live with a mouse. I live with an ape. I cannot escape these beautiful animals oh, in man. my house. It's beautiful. We're putting it in a movie. I love it because we have contracts. Secret secrets, fine print. It's there. Madison, please tell me, A.H., professional songwriter, what's the name of your song we're doing right now for the okay. movie? The title of my song is Almost Human. Oh, oh can you hear it? You sure can. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, boom, ba -doom, ba -doom. What's a monster but a human with fur? What's a monster but you and me? What's a monster but almost human, almost human family? We're monsters. We're just humans with fur. Hey, we're monsters. Just because we're monsters doesn't mean we don't have a heart. Oh my gosh. There was so much spirit and jazz. My, gosh, my feet are starting to, to jazz it up. I got to calm it down. Please tell me, Kim, A.H., What's the ah. name of your song? 
It's called Ah Ha. Oh, that's it right. Can early, but not. Yes, it, it's for the middle of the movie when the main character has a big epiphany. How did you know what the movie is about? Shh, secret, secret, fine print, oh, copyright sorry. infringement. Sorry. Can you sing it for us? Oh, sure, sure. It goes Ah Ha. And then the rest of it is redacted because of the secret secrets. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I see it now. It's gonna be beautiful and a lot of lights and fireworks and special effects and CGI. Oh, and our last talent, Nick, A.H., what song have you just crafted for us? So this, this one, this song is called Anybody Hums. It's when our main character feels so downtrodden that they can't hum, the rest of the Muppets teach them how to hum. Oh. It goes, anybody hums, <laughs> anybody hums. <laughs> Anybody arms. Oh man. Yeah, we're good. We're, we have to make a movie. Kermit is going to oh what's Kermit said he was watching just now. Loves the songs. They're definitely in. Secret secrets, fine print in the contracts you signed. Can't tell others. Beautiful. We're putting them in the movie. Well done. Well done for a little holiday. Halloweeny spirit in here right now. It the holidays will live on forever, but so will the spirit. But I must say, the fun doesn't end, guys, because you know what's next? Our other friends, channel surfers, are also here. They're also here. So we must stay tuned as channel surfers is coming on with extra more fun. So stay tuned. Yeah, hi. Hey, everybody. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm Megan. I am uh, acting head of Channel Surfer Studios tonight, and uh, we're going to make some movie magic for you. Everybody likes movies. Everybody likes movies, okay? I've got three super talented writer-directors on deck. They're going to pitch me some movies. Uh, all we need to get started are two letters. Uh, if y'all want to drop your favorite movies, two-word movies in the chat, drop those in there. Then we can uh, get this thing rolling, rolling. Okay, uh, perfect. I'll take CS. That sounds great. All right, can I get a writer director in here? Pitch me something, see what we got. All right, let's go, let's go. Maya, what we got? All right, all yeah. right. Mm -hmm. I got Coach smiles it's about a coach and you think that he's supposed to be tough and gruff but here's the thing he's optimistic and he smiles a lot okay that is amazing i'm uh yeah goosebumps up and down my whole body already all right love where we're going with this clark what do we got pitch me pitch 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 
Yeah, so I've got a movie for you that's going to absolutely blow your mind. It's got everything that, that everyone wants when people go to the yep. movie. It's got happy people smiling. It's got people sitting at computers typing. It's got people answering phones. It's customer support the movie. That's amazing. Honest, I Yeah, yeah, I feel good. I think uh, I know someone in customer support. I think they'd be really into it. That's, a, that's great. It's adorable. I can see it already. I think uh, James James uh, Vanderbeek's not doing anything. All right, uh, Shane, what do we got? Let's go pitch, pitch. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I've oh, been yeah. spending so much time on this movie. <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh, so my pitch for this movie is: I want you to think back a long, long time ago. Now go further back. That's right. We're talking about the prehistoric age. It's about a dinosaur, specifically a stegosaurus, who makes a time machine and goes all the way forward into present time. It's called Clever Stegosaurus. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You know what? Honestly, Oscar buzz. That's what I hear. That's what I hear in my ears right now. It's Oscar buzz. Okay, so we've got three incredible pitches, and uh, we're just gonna have a little a little quiz. A little. A little uh, we're gonna poll all of our execs back at the studio, see what movie everybody wants to make, and just for their benefit, my beautiful creative children here, uh, can I can I get your, your movie name and your tagline, just like pitch, pitch quick, you know? Let them have it. Maya, let go. Coach Smiles. He smiles. No tagline, no tagline, it's bold, I love it. Yeah, 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 cool. Okay, Clark, let's go, what do we got? Customer support, we got khakis and a jar of gummy bears. Absolutely, and the guy from Dawson's Creek is what I'm thinking. And then uh, Shane, what do we got? Yeah, clever Stegosaurus, Stegosaurus in the future. That's all you got. That's all you need. Yeah. Okay, that's great. You know, I uh, it's gonna be a really tough one. You know, we get a lot of great pitches every year. Uh, not every movie can get made. You know, I mean, Amy Adams in here every week. I talked about her last uh, last month, and you know, she just can't seem to get a single thing made. And uh. Yeah, I, uh, okay, it looks like, uh, it's a close vote, it's a close vote, I, you know what, customer support, customer support, here we go, thank you everyone for your ideas, customer support, we're going to casting. Oh my god, thank you guys so much for choosing my movie, you are not going to be upset, everyone loves customer support. Cool, cool, cool. So first thing we gotta do, I have to find actors for this movie. Cool. So we are going to hold auditions. Uh, what I am going to have is I'm going to have my first two auditioners come up here. We're gonna have Shane. Uh, no, actually, uh, we are going to have uh, Sam and Angelica. I uh, read the audition sheet wrong. Sam and Angelica, you guys are gonna come up. You are gonna be my first auditioners. I am going to have you start with the opening scene of the film, The Commute. You guys are on the train. Coworkers and customer support. On your way to your job. Very thrilling. Go. Ooh, can't wait for this first day of, uh, of, of, of work. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Um, you know, uh, I love talking to people. I'll be honest. I, I don't really like it. I, I I get a little. I get hives. I get hives on the back of my neck when I talk to people. Ooh, you should talk to someone about that. Good thing we have healthcare at our customer support job now. Oh, uh, I'm gonna uh, you stop you guys for just a second. Sorry, sorry. I, I forgot to tell you the movie takes place in Ireland. Ooh, that's making me itch. Oh, you know, I'm so glad I commuted here from Australia to live in Ireland. <laughs> um, it's one of my favorite places to be. I've always wanted to marry an Irishman. <laughs> well, luckily for you, there's a lot here. Oh. I'm going to have you oh, again stop for too. just a second. Um, the movie uh, is still in Ireland. Uh, and also, you guys are both so hungry that you could eat the train. I'll be honest with you, this, this, uh, this hand rolls are uh, looking mighty tasty. Man, I feel like I could put some veggie mite on this, on these rails, and really just go to town. Uh, do you know if I can get me here in Ireland? I don't know about that at all, but I know what you can get. You can get mighty tasty train. Ooh, these hives. Oh, all right. You know what? I'm gonna eat this hat I found. <laughs> 
Ooh, that looks mighty tasty there. You got you got any fun? Oh. Perfect. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, Angelica, uh, hang around. I might ask you back later. Um, but for now, I'm going to bring on Bo. Uh, we're going to see Bo auditioning with Sam. What's up? Cool. So you guys, you guys are going to be doing um, a little further on in the movie. Um, you guys are in the office. You've just taken uh, like a kind of a weird phone call. Like you don't usually get phone calls like this in customer support. Uh, required a little extra support, uh, if you know what I mean. Uh, and go. Yeah. No. Th thanks for calling. I'll be. I'll be sure to let people know. <laughs> Man. You believe people these days? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> You're so right. I was listening into that phone call and um, it was quite mighty strange, you know? It was mighty strange. Um, I, I do, I am wondering um, if uh, they really needed help with their pool or if they were making a jokey. A little yeah, jokey. I, I mean, I think it was like a, a jokey. Like he asked me if the water was running in the pool, and I was like, "No, because then it'd be a river." <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause you guys uh, for just a second. Um, there is an indoor hurricane happening right now in this scene. I'm so sorry I forgot to mention that. Just like a little indoor hurricane. It was quite a jokey. Yeah, like a river, right? <laughs> I don't even know what the... Man, things are going like crazy in here. It's everything so wet. I'm worried. The I can't hear you. Wet. What? Everything's wet in here. I'm worried the machine will... Okay, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop you guys for just a second. I am so sorry. I forgot. It is not a hurricane. You guys just drank like a ton of coffee in the scene before this. Just like the most coffee you have ever had. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, no, can I help you? No, cool. I got to go. Man, I don't know about you, but I'm wired today. Oh man, same, same. Oh, sorry, same. Um, my my dad sent me over the craziest Australian. Oh, oh my head. I'm the cra sorry. Craziest Australian oh, what? Man. Was it a kangaroo? It was tea, non decaf, non decaf tea, fully caffeinated. You have any stickers in your desk? Mate, you're sweating stickers? Yeah, I do. Love it, love it. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Sam, I'm going to have you uh, head out. We might uh, call you back for the movie later. Um, but for now, we're going to have uh, Bo. You're going to do a scene with Maya. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, uh, this is slightly later in the film. Uh, we have just met the romantic interest. Um, this is when the film turns into a rom com. We thought it was a disaster movie, actually, a rom com. Oh, I just bumped into you. Oh, no, that's my fault, not yours. I've never <laughs> seen you around the office before. Are you new? Yes. Oh. Like new to the company, a transfer from somewhere else? Like, tell me everything. Where were you born? What's your sign? Favorite color? Do you like roses? Well, unfortunately, my backstory isn't that developed in favor of your backstory. Uh, however, what we can know is that I am clumsy, and I really like you a lot. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, keep going. Perfect. Uh, this is uh, exactly how I would write the film, except I do uh, want to add in, um, Bo, your character does have two left hands. Oh my god, you're so ambidextrous. I don't want this to be weird, but I'm a little weird. <gasps> I hope you can get my flaws. No, that's okay, because I have two right hands. <gasps> I love it. Also, Maya, your character cannot stop crying. But like, happy tears. <laughs> I've just never met somebody who makes me feel as complete as you. Would your left hand like to hold, or would your right hand like to hold my left hand? 
Perfect. Thank you guys so much. I am a uh, Bo. You can you can go. Uh, I am going to bring on Glinda. Cool. Thank you Perfect. so much for having me. You guys, this is like very high drama scene. The boss has just come in uh, and said that one of you will be fired by the end of the day. Please. Do not fire me from the job. It is the first job that I have had. I have 16 children, and each of the children, they have 16 additional children. And they are all beautiful violinists. All right, so I can't compete with violinist children, but I have a dog, and it has 16 toes. Oh. I love it. Um, Glinda, when you talk, we only hear yes. violin noises. Perfect. Oh, the dog is beautiful. Please don't denigrate what you have at home. That is both a job. I don't know if I can go on in this forced competition. Wonderful idea. Perfect, love it. Uh, Maya, I am going to have uh, you go for a second. I'm gonna bring back uh, Angelica one more time. And then the Vassil's violin in this scene. Yes, that we are. Uh, you are good. You don't. You no longer have to be a violin. Um, this is uh, the final scene in the film. It is the office Christmas party. You guys are having the most fun you have ever had in your entire life. Oh my god, this is so much fun! I forgot about my rash. Oh, this is the most fun I have ever had in my life. The roof has zero holes in it, and the floor is completely solid underneath my feet. Also, uh, I forgot to tell you guys, the theme of the office Christmas party is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and one of the walls is a chocolate waterfall. Oh my god. I've never I seen anything so beautiful. No, me neither. And frankly, a little frightening. Mmm. 75% cacao. Incredible. Also, uh, there are like, it seems like there are invisible Oompa Loompas everywhere. You're just like, you can't see them, but like they're everywhere and you can tell. Okay, I'm getting the feeling that uh, we are not the only customer support in the building. <laughs> no, something's definitely, oh, hello, hello there. Someone keeps bumping into me. Do you get the sense that someone is saying a riddle somewhere in the room? Love it. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I might have to hire all of you, uh, but I, uh, I'm going to have you guys go for just a second. Uh, I do have to audition some more people for this film. Uh, we are going to have some celebrity cameos. Uh, so if you guys can drop like your favorite like celebrities, cartoon characters in the chat, anyone with like a recognizable voice. Like I uh, think of like uh, Christopher Walken would have a, a recognizable voice or Fran Drescher. Literally anyone who you're like, oh, I would know that voice, would love to see them in a movie. Even if I didn't see them, I would know it was them. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, can I have uh, everyone who's auditioning back up? Cool, cool. Uh, Sam, I believe you are uh, Miss Piggy auditioning for this film. Oh, it's so good to be here on Miss Piggy. Oh, Carmi! Carmi, bring in the customers. Amazing. Megan, you are Sean Connery. Wow. <laughs> I love customer support, and this is the Scottish accent. Uh, Shane, you are Charlie Chaplin. Chaplin. Yeah, <laughs> Maya, you are uh, Mickey Mouse. Oh, boy. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, Angelica, you are Captain Jack Sparrow. i let you know one thing. I don't care about the customers. I just care, where's my rum? My rum? Amazing. Uh, Shane, you are Ash Ketchum. Gonna catch this roll. Got him. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> uh, Megan, you are Elmo. Have to have 
have so many celebrity cameos uh, because you guys are all hired. Um, so next, we gotta film this movie. Uh, and lucky for you guys, uh, we have booked all the locations at once. Um, so if I can have in the chat uh, just a bunch of non-geographic locations, uh, like a bathroom or a restaurant or a kitchen. Uh, I don't know why I am listing off domestic places, but literally any location at all, throw it in the chat. Amazing. And what we're going to do is we're going to be bouncing around doing scene to scene to scene uh, in these different locations so that we can film the whole movie all at once. So to start, I am going to have uh, Sam and Angelica. Uh, you are going to be doing a scene from this movie that takes place in the DMV. Yes, so I told her. Oh. Yeah, what'd you tell her? What'd you tell her? 85? Wait, I... I told her that you can't buy two cars if you've got no credit. That's all. That's what I told her. I mean, those are wise words, Becky. Those are wise words. 85! Amazing. Uh, Shane and Megan, you guys are doing uh, The Evil Lair? Welcome. Come in, come in. Thank you so much for having me. So listen, listen to this idea. Oh, okay. We'll call people and claim to have problems that we don't have. <laughs> you are honestly almost too diabolical. Okay, what about hear me out? It's a printer and it never works. Never works. Just a we distribute it. jam error. <laughs> We distribute it office to office. We require the employees to print one piece of paper per year, but it's a very important piece of paper and they'll lose their jobs without it. And it'll never print. You're a maniac. Amazing. Uh, Maya and Angelica, you are in the uh, museum gallery scene of this film. I'll let you know something. All of these paintings look like they were done by a fifth grader. You know, honestly, I think they were done by a second grader. Oh, that's that's very deep right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can I, can I be honest with you? Hmm. It was me. I actually did it. I was just trying to make it seem, you know, like it wasn't me. Uh, Sam and Megan, you are in a winter camp. It's pretty cold in the camp. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm freezing. I'm freezing. This is a weird idea, but I'm happy you're here. No, honestly, Sam, I told my mom and dad, like, don't send me to a camp where Sam doesn't go because no one else is going to, like, really understand when I tell them about all the horses I want in the future. Well, of course, of course, I love talking about horses. You know, horse is a horse, of course. Um, oh, and amazing. Uh, Shane and Maya, you are inside a child's mind. Whoa! This is crazy. So, I think this looks edible. No, it's not. Oh, no. Oh, God, look, it's Voltron. How'd he get here? Man. Oh, my God. Everything's so bouncy! Do you think... Perfect. And then, uh, Angelica and Megan, can I have you in a DIY pizza class? Okay, babe, toss it. And then you toss it. Babe. Babe. Uh, babe. It's, it's stuck up there. No, that's okay, Oh, my babe. God. This is the most amazing film ever. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I just had to tell you, we hadn't finished filming yet, and they already gave us every single award. Like, all of the awards you could possibly get. Um, I'm actually having trouble remembering all of the awards. Um, so if y'all uh, in the audience can just, like, throw some nouns in the chat, any, like, persons, places, things, like, maybe, like, your favorite animals, things you would find in a junk drawer, uh, occupations, literally, like, any nouns that could help me remember what kinds of awards we just won. Oh, my God. You guys, you're so right. Uh, we did win um, the LED bulb award, like the light bulb award. Uh, so, um, 
we are going to show you our acceptance speeches for this award. Uh, Megan, can I have you accept the light bulb award? Oh my god, thank you so much for this light bulb award. Like, it just feels so bright. Uh, Shane. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for this light, light LED light bulb award. I knew this movie was going to be a great idea. Uh, Angelica. Thank you so much for the light bulb award. Just one day I woke up and everything in this movie just clicked. Amazing Sam. Thank you so much for this light bulb award. I mean, I just don't know what to say. Amazing, amazing. That just reminds me, we won the guitar award, guys. We have the guitar award. Uh, so, uh, Shane, can I have you accept the guitar award? Thank you all so much for this guitar award. Like, I have a big, long speech prepared, but I really don't want to string you guys along, so I'm going to cut it short. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Maya. Thank you so much for this guitar award. I just feel a fret that I'll let you down. Oh my God, Angelica, that is the guitar award. Thank you so much for this guitar award. I'm gonna keep rocking on, thank you. Amazing Megan. Yeah, I mean, thank you so much for this guitar award, but honestly, I'm a little offended. I didn't get it earlier. <laughs> Amazing Sam. Thank you so much for this, this guitar award. I don't want to keep dragging this along, so I'm just going to leave it on that note. Amazing. Oh, my God, guys, I remember we also won the library award, like the library award. Uh, can I please, Megan, would you please accept the library award? Thank you so much for the library award. Like, I just thank you to each and every person who came to check out this movie. <sighs> thank you, thank you. Uh, Sam. Thank you so much for this library award. I, when I got the part, I was like, man, can't believe I booked it. <laughs> Amazing Angelica. Thank you for this library award. When I also got booked, I thought, fine, no we. <laughs> Amazing Shane. Thank you all so much for this library award, man. Like, we really do we decimated the competition here. Oh my god, thank you guys so much. Thank you for all of these awards. Thank you for supporting my film, customer support. This has been wonderful. We have been Channel Surfers. Stick around. Minor League is up next. Y'all have a great night.